Of all the many World Series champion players, there is only one who earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Only one! Can you name him? I don't think so. Hi, everybody. This is Short Shots with a Touch of Trivia. And this is it, the answer to our question. He was an infielder for the 1948 World Champion Cleveland Indians during his major league career. That lasted from 1939 to 1952. He dabbled in acting during the off seasons and went with show business full time after his 13 year major league career ended. In 1963, he landed the role of Dr. Steve Hardy in the new afternoon soap opera, General Hospital. He held that role for three decades until 1993 and earned his star of, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Johnny Berardino, who after he re retired from baseball, added an R to his name from Berardino to Berardino. Well, the NCAA Sweet 16 for this year is set to go. LSU made it! But Villanova, the defending national champions, did not. They got smoked by Purdue by 26 as Carson Edwards scored 42 for the Boilermakers, the most points scored over a reigning NCAA champion since Jerry McNamara scored 43 for Syracuse in 2004. Also, Duke survived the huge scare from Centra, Central Florida's upset bid by one point. Mother of God. Finally, another sad ending segment. In less than a month, three very important people in school history at Hazelton High School passed away. Three heavyweight HHS names that will be hard to forget. Rich Matz, Red Meinhold, and Johnny Asino. Hazelton High existed for only 70 years. In those seven decades, there were only a total of five Mountaineer athletes who earned four letters in four different sports in the same school year. Joe Bonacci, class of 1923. Ed Ferdinand, class of 57. Dale Stewart and Gene Capus, class of 1960. And John Yacino, class of 1958. Johnny was sensational in football, scoring 28 touchdowns and rushing for over 1,000 yards in back-to-back -back seasons. Brilliant in basketball and baseball. Two seasons and undefeated in individual races in his senior track season. In my opinion, the second greatest athlete in HHS school history. Johnny died last week after playing a round of golf in Florida. He was 78. Our condolences to his family and friends. Till next time, stay loose.